to my channel. My name is Karen, and today I want to show you some of my favorite fall slash winter pieces, but mainly fall because I live in California and the weather is still pretty warm here. These are basically my closet essentials for now. I really like the silhouette of these outfits, and you can basically mix and match because all the colors are pretty neutral. So I'm gonna start off with this first outfit. Okay, this blazer is definitely a an investment piece. I definitely think like you want an investment piece blazer, unless you can find like the perfect one from like, a thrift shop. This one is from Style Nanda, and I love it to death because I have really little shoulders. So I love something that has like a more structured like 80s vibe to it. So these shoulder pads are a perfect amount. It's not too big. If you guys can see, it's not too like squarish where it's like super 80s it's a little bit more modern and i love how oversized it is so i actually picked up this jacket when i was in tokyo in the style nana store i got to try it on and i absolutely love it so i really really think like this is a must have for this fall season especially like blazers is such a huge trend right now you can wear them dress them down with a simple tank top or dress them up with like a pretty little dress like I have here. There's endless ways of styling a blazer. For this outfit that I'm showing you, I decided to wear this really beautiful champagne satin skirt I got from YesStyle. The quality is absolutely amazing. The only problem with this, and I would say be careful if you decide to pick this up, is that it can easily get caught into things because the material is so nice and silky. So just be careful with that. And I wanted to pair it with a pair of, these are right below the knee, boots that I got from Jeffrey Campbell. These are also an investment. I just feel like I don't have any Western style boots in my closet, so I really wanted something like that has a pointed toe because it gives appearance that you are a little bit taller when it has a pointed toe. And it just has a little bit of a heel that gives me a little bit of a boost because I am quite short and it definitely um, helps give your silhouette a little bit more of like a sharpness to it when you have something pointier. I really like the silhouette of having like a really oversized top and then a little smaller shirt, pairing it with a bandeau because all the tones are still around the same color family. We have this warm tone going on and then you just pop it on with a big oversized blazer with a fun headband that matches the snakeskin situation. It's very chic and modern, but also have a little bit of silhouette that's a little bit funky, that's really fun. So I wanna talk about these two headbands. I picked these up also in Japan, and I'm sure you guys can find these on YesStyle or online, but these are um, a little bit more unique than regular headbands because it is very thick, a lot of cushion here. I've had the snakeskin bandeau for like a little bit over a year now, and I don't see it leaving my closet anytime soon because it's, even though there's so many patterns and things going on, it's a perfect neutral. Very, very good basic that has a little bit of a pizzazz to it. outfit it has a little bit of a more tomboy silhouette I have this red cropped turtleneck with like bell sleeves and it's one of my favorite items for the fall because it slides right into winter so it's actually perfect to wear around the Christmas time the cropped aspect of it makes it a little bit less baggy so like I'm not like being swallowed up by a really huge sweater I also got this in Japan like from bubbles a couple years back I love the white trim work on this it just looks a lot more edgy with the white trim work and then it also has a elastic bottom so that it gives my pant a little bit of that balloon silhouette which I really like. I also layered it with a vegan leather blazer. It's kind of the same concept as a blazer I have on right now. Instead of this like 
suit material. I just I have a vegan leather too, so I can interchange depending on the mood I want to go for. If I want to go for something a little bit more like sophisticated, then I can go for this look. But if I want to go for something a little bit more edgy and kind of pair it with these pants, I could do that too. But honestly, everything I'm showing you right here is all interchangeable. You can really like make some match with these pieces. A lot of times I wear it with like little biker shorts too. So if you guys actually want to see me style like blazers as a whole new video, leave a comment below so that I know you guys want to see like a blazer video because I have so many different blazers in different colors. And then for shoes, I have my Doc Martens. I actually got these from Dolls Kill. So they're a little bit different than the regular Docs. They are platform and then they have these satin um, laces to it. I've never seen Docs with satin laces and actually when I first ordered them, they came I didn't expect them to be satin laces, but then I actually grew to love them a lot because they're just really different from regular Docs. I really actually really, really like these. Docs are also one of those shoes that it's just a closet staple. In this video, I have a lot of neutrals, but I wanna show you that I also love color and I love it so much. This color is so fun and cute, but it still gives you that warm fall vibe. And I love the crop aspect of it. I like how the buttons are a little bit bigger. It's oversized. This is actually from YesStyle. So I can link this in the description box below if you guys wanna check this one out. I just really like feeling like I woke up, can throw on the sweater and leave the house. I bought these pants in Japan as well. They look like house pants because they're so soft and comfortable. These are my joy pants when I bought them with my friend in Tokyo. Like I was thinking about these pants made me smile so much because they were so soft and comfortable. You can definitely wear these out because they're also so cute too. You can wear like a, a sweater with it, like the red sweater that I showed you earlier. Um, I can just wear a blazer over this because the color is so neutral. You can do anything with it. The light color makes it look a little bit more expensive, but because of, it's this material, you get to sleep in it. You can roll out of bed and sleep in it and then go to work or go to class. It's just a godsend. The bag I decided to wear with it is a white shoulder bag from YesStyle and I'll link that in the description box below too. I love the bag though. I can fit so many things in there like my wallet, my keys, my gum, my makeup, Pepsi. Wow, I'm talking really fast. I don't know how I'm doing it. I had coffee today though, so that's probably why. Hey, hey, cafe, hey. Oh, by the way, I had the chestnut praline, I think that's how I'm saying, you're saying it? The chestnut, chestnut praline fall latte. Oh, it's so good. I freaking love it. I normally go for my green tea latte with soy, but because they offer the um, holiday drinks now at Starbucks, I was like, oh my God, I have to get this. I'm such a sucker for like holiday stuff. Please let me know what your choice of drink from Starbucks is. I would love to see like how you mix and match your drinks because I'm really boring. I am creature of habit and I always drink the green tea latte with soy. I'm lactose intolerant, so I have to do the soy. But yeah, I would love to know what your choice of drink at Starbucks is. Comment that below, please. This is an item that I actually have like two of. It looks crazy right now, but when you wear it, the back is, the back has these like really thin straps on it. And it just looks really sexy, but also like it covers up your boobs pretty well in the front. So I would love this as my basics. And I got this from YesStyle too. I have two of each. I have it in white and black. This is just one of those items that I, it's almost like a sports bra because it's really thick. It has like two layers. So your nipples actually has like no visibility when you wear this. I don't have to wear like a sticky bra or anything. I really like it. But if you want to give yourself a little zhuzh and wear a sticky bra, push the girls up, go for it too. By the way, YesStyle has really good things if you bought there before and then you've seen the quality from different shops. Some shops have really like questionable quality. Sometimes like a skirt will come in and it's like a legitimate square. And when you wear it, it's weird because it's a freaking square. My takeaway from YesStyle is I spend more than $15. Usually the $15 stuff or $7 stuff is pretty bad unless it has really great reviews. And then if you spend a little bit more on the stuff, it tends to be like really, really great quality. Enough about yes style, moving on. Oh, okay, so talking about that top, I decided to wear that in my outfit and remember I said I have a lot of blazers. I got this one from yes style too. 
and I really like this guy because it has such a fun purple shade to it, but it's super soft and lightweight. It rests on your body like a cardigan, but it has this like suit material, so you look really nice and put together. And I decided to match it with this mint color slacks that I got from Pretty Little Thing. These are actually um, pretty long on me. It's a size zero, but because I'm so short, it does like super drape over my feet. The way I combat that is to wear my buffaloes. My buffaloes are so dirty, by the way. I wear these all the time. I, like, I went to Japan in these. I walked all over the city and I walked all over New York in these. They were not comfortable the first two times I wore them out, but once I broke them in, these are my go-to city shoes and they give me the height that I want while wearing sneakers. I love the white patent ones because I can easily wipe them off when I'm traveling. These ones just make me so happy. I also got these in Japan and I have been trying to find pointy slip-ons for the longest times with a kitten heel. I wanted the point to be like super pointy like this too, these shoes are also my go-to's. I really love having like a kitten heel in my rotation. They look super sophisticated and they go with all of my like slacks that I wear. Because they're white, they go with almost anything like black slacks. I have actually bought two pairs of these slacks from Japan too. I didn't wear them in this video, but I love this like almost like a, an olive beige color. They are loose and wide, but they fit me really well because they're made in Japan. So it's made for shorter people. My uniform is basically this blazer with these slacks and like a tank top and then my headband or my beret or something like that. fuzzy jacket that I wore in this video. I love that jacket and I feel like it's like a really glamorous fall winter staple to have if you want like that fuzzy jacket look. There's so many ways to style that baby too. If you guys have any like style questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. The next thing I want to talk about are these bags that I got. I also got these in Japan. This might as well be like a Japan haul. I picked this one up from my secondhand store it was like $480, which is pretty inexpensive for a Louis Vuitton bag. And I love the shape of it. It can fit a lot of things in this little baby. And I think this classic print goes with everything. This bag is from Style Nanda. I'm pretty sure that it's still available on Style Nanda. So feel free to check it out. I will link it in the description box below too. As for my beret, I actually got this in Japan like three years ago. Wow, a lot of my wardrobe is from Japan. And yes, style. Well, that concludes this video. If you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section. I'll be reading a question from a random follower who comments in the first 10 minutes of my video. I actually learned this from Aspen's vlogs and I really liked it, so I will be doing that. And you can hashtag it, ask Karen, and I'll be reading one person's question and answering it randomly in my next video if you ask in the first 10 minutes of this upload. So make sure you turn on the notification bell if you guys wanna be a part of hashtag AskKaren. And if you have an Instagram, feel free to follow me at I'm Karen Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.